Salt. Once again, a respected medical journal has published a paper demonstrating that low salt diets cause more sickness and death than regular salt consumption. The most recent publication in the British medical journal Heart by doctors Di Nicolantonio, Di Pasquale, Taylor and Hackham was just published. The details can be seen at the website indicated below or the shortcut that's indicated above. The medical researchers from the USA, Italy, UK and Canada carried out a systematic review and a meta-analysis of the randomized clinical trials with heart failure patients carried out up until April 2012. They concluded that consuming low sodium diets significantly increased morbidity and mortality or disease and death in patients with heart failure compared to consuming normal sodium diets. This review follows on a recent Cochrane review which also demonstrated that sodium restriction was not effective in reducing mortality or cardiovascular events. Yet the guidelines for the management of heart failure consistently advise dietary sodium restriction for patients. The guidelines for the treatment of heart failure patients is hopelessly out of date. A letter I wrote to the American Heart Association two years ago asking them to reconsider their guidelines in light of all the new peer-reviewed evidence went completely unanswered. The AHA, together with the rest of our public health institutions, are in total denial of the evidence and this latest publication confirms this once again. They have committed themselves so deeply to salt reduction ideology that no amount of new evidence will shake them from their pig-headed position. As a result, more people will die. During the past three years, there's been a great many medical publications cautioning against salt reduction in foods. Peer-reviewed medical publications the world over have consistently stated that salt reduction will result in higher rates of cardiovascular morbidity and mortality for type 1 and type 2 diabetes patients. They have repeatedly shown that salt reduction levels down to those levels that are recommended in our dietary guidelines will result in greater all-cause cardiovascular mortality, losses in cognition, increases in unsteadiness and falls for the elderly, and a host of other malignant conditions, including reduced overall nutritional status. Yet the CDC, the FDA, the AHA, the National Salt Reduction Initiative, the self-appointed Center for Science in the Public Interest, all stridently recommend salt reduction in the face of that evidence. What are they thinking? Where do they have their heads? I can just imagine, but the picture is too revolting to describe. One thing for certain, they don't have their heads in the peer-reviewed scientific journals, nor in the actual evidence. It's time our public health institutions and the puffed-up mandarins that run them come clean and do what they're paid to do. They work for us to make recommendations based on scientific evidence, not to stake out some intractable position that's based on dogma and then never veer from it, regardless of the potential consequences to consumers. They're not doing their jobs, even to the point of reading the research. If I can paraphrase Bill Watterson, the creator of the cartoon Calvin and Hobbes, they're not in denial, they're just selective about the reality that they accept. Consumers really deserve a lot better than that. Salt.